Welcome back everyone. Today's beer review is Traverse City Cherry Wheat. This is from Atwater Brewery. This is a, if I remember right, 4.8% ABV and 12 IBUs. Now, Untap does have a different ABV and a different IBUs. I'm going to go by what the label has. Untap does say this uh, brew is an amber wheat that uses cherry to add a slight tart finish, not meant to overwhelm the beer itself. So let's go ahead and get into it. It is a darker co color coming out of the bottle. From what I can tell, there is not a package date or a brew date on this bottle. They do have all the information except for that. So I would say a tan head, half medium, half small bubbles on there. Right now, about a finger and three quarters of head. If we look at the color, it is an amber color. I do have some floaties in there, so I'm guessing it is unfiltered. I can see through it if I, if I look down below the settlement and everything still at the top. A nice amber color, I would say. Let's go ahead and get a smell. You are getting some tart, maybe some sour, and some wheat in there, kind of biscuity. That's about it. That tartness, kind of sourness, sticks out the most, but you can smell a little wheat. Let's go ahead and get a taste. A little bit malty, weedy. I can taste some wheat in there. A tiny bit of tartness. I wouldn't say there's any cherry in there and the tartness is very very low. Bitterness is nothing. There is a little bit of fruity notes or some fruity notes in there. If I didn't know this was a cherry wheat I would not pick up on that. I would say medium body. Overall, I would probably have to go with a 3.25, somewhere in there, out of 5. I, I think it should have more tartness. Like I said, there, there's a faint bit of tartness, but not as much as I think should be in a cherry beer at all. When they say it shouldn't, it's not going to overwhelm the beer you're not really getting any. I would not, if I taste this without knowing it's a cherry beer, like I said, I would say this is a wheat beer with some kind of tart fruit in it. I, I couldn't pick out it was cherry. Yeah. Bitterness is nothing but for 12 IBUs, you're not going to get any. Goes away pretty quick, quick, doesn't linger at all. Yeah, so yeah, three out of five on this one. So that'll wrap up this review for Traverse City Cherry Wheat. Until next time, happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.